even start drawing the cross diagram, we need to determine how many electrons this particular element has. And how would I know how many electrons it has? Now back to your atomic structure, we know that in an atom, the number of protons and electrons must be the same. Now in the periodic table that you have in exam, okay, you can just refer to the key to know what each of the number represent. All right. So the top of the number actually is the proton number or not, we can say it's an atomic number, which means it is the number of protons. Now in an atom, number of protons and number of electrons are the same. And hence, we can safely say that the number at the top also represents the number of electrons in an atom. Now what about CH4, which is methane, our natural gas? What is the number of electrons of carbon? Now carbon is over here. Okay, it has six electrons. The first shell can only hold up to two electrons. Okay, so carbon, two electrons in the first shell. The remaining four electrons will be in the outermost shell. Okay, then the rest are all hydrogen. Hydrogen, it has only one shell and one electron. Alright, so my carbon has four outermost electrons. It needs four more electrons to attain the noble gas electronic configuration. So I have four hydrogen, okay, each of these hydrogen just share one electron with this carbon, okay? So what we will have is, we try to write and see, okay, inner shell, and all the four electrons are going to take part in the sharing, all right? So we will draw all in the overlap region. And I got four hydrogen, okay, and each of these hydrogen will share one electron. So now, if you focus on carbon, has the carbon attained the noble gas electronic configuration? Okay, let's count now. Alright, we have two electrons, four, six, eight. The second electron shell, which is the outermost electron shell, okay, it has eight electrons, so it has attained the noble gas electronic configuration. For hydrogen, each of them has two electrons in the outermost shell after sharing. Okay, so each of them has attained the electronic configuration that they want. So this is the correct dot in cross diagram that you should draw. So again, if question asks you to only show the outermost electrons, what you will need to draw is this. Okay, we actually omit the first shell of carbon. So for the structural formula, again, there'll be one carbon, four hydrogen, and between carbon and each of the hydrogen, single bond is formed. One single bond represents the sharing of two electrons. In fact, this is particularly important okay, when you do organic chemistry. In organic chemistry, you very often need to write down structural formula of the organic compounds. A very good way to determine whether or not you have drawn the correct structure is count the number of bonds. Carbon always have four bonds because it will need to use all its four electrons for sharing. Now, if you find this video useful, please share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you'd like to have more chemistry resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description below. Now, have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.